What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be working on the M5, I finally got the sensor, we finally got the keys, and we finally got the oil, so shout out to FCP Europe for also pretty much partnering to make this video happen, they sent out that sensor, and I'm super 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 excited to put it in, it was delayed through FedEx for some random baloney shimoni, it was literally delayed for like 5 or 6 days, it wasn't FCP Euro's fault, it was definitely their fault, I've ordered a million things from FCP Euro, and that wasn't an issue, so uh, it just... You know COVID stuff I guess but anywho so we have the oil we have the new filter and we also have the new sensor So I do want to crank the engine over but it does look like there's been a lot of oil leaking I'm gonna go ahead and push the car forward and see if there's a big puddle That means it's leaking quickly and the engine probably does not have enough fluids uh, But if there's no puddle or anything like that Then we probably could give it a good crank and see if we can get it to get started because if we can get that thing to get started We can literally bring it into the garage and do the oil change in here because it is super hot out there and uh, for those of you guys, oh, uh, by the time this video goes up, it's going to be Ramadan. So Ramadan Kareem, for those of you guys who know what that is, and uh, happy fasting and all that good stuff. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead, uh, move the M5 forward, and hopefully get this thing to turn over. If it does, I might even throw some copper fiber on this little dude. I meant to say big dude. It's not a little dude. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big V10. So again, guys, if you guys haven't used FCP Euro, it literally, they have OEM parts and OE parts. And uh, honestly, they only sell top quality things with lifetime warranty. So if you were to get this sensor from BMW, it would cost you literally the exact same price or maybe you can even get it cheaper from FCP Euro and they have lifetime warranty on it so if it ever goes bad again you can replace it for absolutely for free and same goes with their oil too absolutely crazy you can literally replace the oil once your oil goes bad put it back in the bottle send it back to them and they'll send you another one it's pretty insane again FCP Euro links down below without further ado let's get into the M5 So actually guys, I'm gonna do an oil change right now. Reason being is I don't know if this major leak is from the oil or not, but it does look like the oil. So uh, I don't really wanna risk it for the biscuit. So let's go ahead and just pretty much do an oil change, replace the fluids, make sure all that's good, make sure the engine has is properly lubricated. And then, and then we'll replace the sensor and hopefully give it a good crank. I mean, if it's not the sensor guys, it's maybe the wiring. If it's not the wiring and it's not the sensor, it comes down to be the transmission or the clutch. So uh, again, hoping for the best here guys. All right, guys, now that we have two floor jacks there, we've got the jack holding it up. We also have a wheel down there just in case things go south, but um, any hoozles. Uh, the filter for the oil is actually right here, which is kind of crazy. Not on the top, it's on the bottom, kind of like some Japanese cars. But anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and get an oil drain pan and just start draining this. I think I have to drain the screw first, and then you take the whole thing out. So let's go ahead and get into that. Alright guys, after looking at this filter, honestly, I'm not seeing any metal fragments, which is really, really, really good. And also this oil looks pretty healthy, so it looks like it recently had an oil change or just recently been topped off a lot because it's been draining a lot of oil. But anywho, everything's looking pretty good down here. Obviously, it's not the oil pan. We're about to drain from the oil pan right now. All this oil came just from the filter, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but anywho, let's go ahead and just clean all this up. And then uh, we already replaced the filter, put in all the new gaskets on that. Let's just go ahead and drain out the oil from the bottom, and then we should be able to top it off with some oil. All right, guys, now that we have that drain screw, new washer and everything, and that should be good to go at this point. We have the other filter and everything good to go over there. Now, before we actually put in oil, I actually do want to replace the sensor while I'm down here as well. Uh, so shout out to Blake for actually getting a hole and actually getting a new screw in there. So now our thing is no longer JB welded, which is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and just disconnect the sensor real quick. Now that we got the sensor disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that out as well, just to make sure the connection's good. Uh, take out that bolt, remove the old sensor, and put in the new sensor from FCP. And hopefully, hopefully, guys, with the new oil change and this sensor, uh, I don't know, I mean, it will be pretty lucky if this actually works, but if it works, I'll be the, one of the happiest men alive right now. Guys, I just opened up the second box from FCP, and uh, it's apparently a sensor that we already had. I don't understand, oh my god, this sucks. So not only did it get delayed, unfortunately, it looks like it's the wrong sensor. I think I may have placed an order for the wrong sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and see on the website if I did or not, uh, but it looks like we're gonna have to order the new one again. Oh man. Uh, 
All right, guys, I put back the same sensor because unfortunately we did get the second the second camshaft sensor that we waited so long to get. It was apparently the wrong one too. So I've never had an issue with that with FCP Air, but unfortunately it looks like we just got super unlucky once again. And that's why this video is being delayed. So if you guys are asking where's the M5 video, I'm not delaying it on purpose, but I'm waiting on this sensor. This sensor at BMW is $200. I'm not spending $200 on a sensor. That's just not happening. So I've been trying to get from FCP Air. It's 122 brand new OEM from FCP plus that lifetime warranty. So if it ever goes bad again, I could send it back. So I'd rather save $80 and get that lifetime warranty than overpay at BMW. So uh, it is what it is, but um, let's go ahead and try to give it a crank and maybe there's something different with the new oil change. Doubt it, but we'll give it a try. Three days later. And guys, a couple days later, we finally got the sensor that we need. This is an OE style, not OEM, but this should just work just as fine. So we finally got the sensor that I need, the crankshaft sensor. Um, I, we did also get the charge pipe. Uh, I went ahead and ordered this thing off of eBay. So we did get the charge pipe with all the flanges and everything for the 135 and we also did get a headlight in the part that sucked is he didn't package it right so this tab is actually fine but this one which is the one that's most concerning and broken on my other one as well this one is also broken so kind of got unlucky here again uh, i'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get some kind of refund on this partial refund or whatever because it wasn't really packaged the best way i mean you should put it probably put it in a better box this was kind of like box to fit the headlight and obviously with anything being thrown around like easily it'll just break it so kind of sucks but uh at least we have the headlight we could put on both headlights possibly put on the front bumper put on the sensor and if this all works guys and the car starts up we might even drive over to sacramento and also get a hood so that'd be pretty awesome that for the deal let's go ahead and head over to my dad's place so we can start putting this little bad boy in All right, guys, so at this point, we have the new sensors. Go ahead and get down there and just replace it real quick. Hopefully, hopefully, guys, this car is not starting because of the sensor, not a transmission issue. Let's hope for the best. Fresh new oil change, check. Sensor, check. Now we just gotta load down the car and uh, put in that battery and hope to God, guys, please. So it's that moment that we've been waiting for. Finally got the new sensor in the car. Finally got an oil change. Finally got the battery recharged and put back in the car. It's actually a new battery, but we just recharged it just for this crank. I want to make sure it has all the juice it needs to be able to crank over. Moment of truth, guys. Dude, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Either Check new it out. transmission or we're good. Oh man, that's like a 50-50. I, oh, I don't know, man. All right, well. Ooh. Ooh. You ready? I'm ready, dude. Set. Go. Oh. oh. Guys, that's with a new sensor. Sounds like it's just right there. I know. It sounds like it wants to, but I'm going to give it another crank. It's right there. It's just right there. Whoa, please just start, dude. You guys hear that? It's so It's almost like it's just revving. It's like right there. Let's go ahead and plug in Carly and see what we get. Let's just go ahead and run the codes and see what Carly tells us. All right, guys, so in terms of major codes, we're getting two for the transmission, evaluation, engine speed, can. Uh, so that's a code and then voltage supply. So those are the two for the transmission. In terms of uh, any other thing that's major that's causing the car not to turn on, I mean, light's not a big deal. Um, dynamic stability control, lining wear, incorporate, initialize. I don't know what this is. Car access system, error engine start, starter operation. That is another weird code. Um, so anywho, um, in terms of the transmission, uh, let's go to engine actually, we do have two engine ones. Potential uh, consequences, power reduction, engine may be difficult to start or take longer to start because of the crankshaft sensor. Let's go ahead and clear the codes and then let's see uh, what happens um, once, we once we clear them. So we are clearing all the codes now. This might take a few minutes, but uh, hopefully once this all clears up, should be able to give a car a proper crank. So at this point, we did clear up all the lights. There's no lights. So once we give the car a few more cranks, we should be able to get some new codes. I'm gonna unplug this just in case it puts itself in like scanning mode. Give another shot. All right, stand front. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and rescan the codes. We gave it about five cranks, and uh, it literally, like, the exhaust kicks in, and it sounds like the car starts and it cuts off again. I don't know, do you guys think that also it could be another battery issue or some kind of, I don't know what it could possibly be, but I know with these type of cars, they're real finicky, and one little thing can cause them not to start. So uh, let's go ahead and just run the codes real quick and see if we got anything new or uh, if we still got that crankshaft sensor. Maybe it's not even the crankshaft sensor. Maybe it's saying it's a crankshaft sensor because of something else. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I might even call up my boy Nick and see if he can run the codes and see if there's anything new this time. Oh, okay, well, this is actually kind of new. So it's saying, guys, so something that's like the main code it's throwing, it's saying it's the air engine start starter operation AOB4. Don't know what that is, but uh, that's new, I think. Because the crankshaft sensor, it's it's not a primary fault, so it shouldn't be the main reason the car won't start, you know? The major yeah. issue is saying this, car engine starter. Okay, let me look into this, guys, and I'll hit up Nick, and I'll let you guys know what uh, what that is exactly. We already have custom trim coming in. We have a new steering wheel that's from Ozla coming in. So it's gonna be this thing's gonna be fully modified. It's gonna be looking so dope. We just need it to crank over. Without further ado, Nick's gonna help me do some coding in a little bit. Let's go ahead and just work on the front end and put in that headlight and maybe even the bumper. Um, so if this thing starts, we might be able to drive it down today to get a hood, and this thing might be complete, which would be pretty insane. We're open for the best right now. I'm being very optimistic, but I mean, hey, if this is it, we are very like we are oh the luckiest people alive, and I'll be so happy. Key in the ignition. That's, that's an issue for another day. Yes, sir. All right. Damn, it like started. It started and it turned off. All right, guys, so we pretty much took off everything to the top of the DME, and uh, we didn't find any wiring issues here. Everything looks pretty normal to me. Nothing seems to be unplugged other than that one thing right there, but I mean, hmm. Nothing seems like it needs to be connected there, to be honest. All right, guys, so after a couple of days, I literally, the last, like, literally, it's been, this has been like a week and a half in the works. All you guys have been asking me, what's up with the M5? How come you're not uploading? It's because we haven't been really getting anywhere. We've been trying to diagnose it. We replaced the sensor. We've been drawing the hole out. Uh, we put a new sensor in there, and it's still not being able to crank over. Um, so all that work was pretty much, I guess, for nothing. I don't know. I mean, the car is cranking over more, but it's still not cranking over. And then uh, that other code that we got that is in terms of the, the the DME not being in sync, we ended up syncing it. So shout out to Nick for that. He fixed that portion, but still no crank. It, like it's cranking, but it won't turn over. If any of you guys are BMW techs that actually know what's going on, let me know. And I'm, I'm genuinely thinking that we should put the car together 100% and then uh, take it down to BMW and have them diagnose it because they should be able to tell if there's a wiring issue involved, um, check if there's any short circuits, and uh, ultimately no, because they, they're probably very trained and specialized and probably have seen things like this before happen. And I'll have to keep dumping money into new sensors and trying to figure out other things. I mean, huge shout out to FC Piero for working with me and you know hooking me up with those sensors, but Ultimately, I don't want to, you know, put them through it. And I don't want to spend any more money myself uh, to go ahead and diagnose this. I don't know what it is. And, you know, end of the day, $210 is a lot of money. But if BMW can figure it out for $210, I definitely think it's worth the money. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just put on that headlight, put on the front bumper, put on anything else that we could possibly put on. Uh, and then probably try to go find a hood, fix some other things on the side skirts. Because there's some nails sticking on the side skirts. I'll show you guys all that. But um, let's just go ahead and make this M5 at least look like a clean title. So when we take it into BMW, they won't question it. <laughs> and also, it is a clean title, so they can't deny it. So, so first things first, guys. We did get this headlight pretty much lined up. Uh, this fender does need to get pushed in a little bit underneath the headlight. Not a big deal there. Uh, it's all lined up pretty good here. This side right here, um, the headlight's not lining up that great. So I need to figure out what's going on with that. And then we'll line this up. So... Here's the before guys, and I guess I cut back to you on a little bit once I get this side lined up. We just got in this second headlight in. Uh, it is also missing the tab up here. It's not perfectly gapped out and everything, but honestly, uh, it's whatever to be honest. And uh, the gaskets on the headlight as well is not really looking too good. I'm probably gonna have this whole side fender repainted, that fender fixed and repainted. But right now, let's plug in this bumper and the PDC and at least make this thing look a lot better than, uh, than it, when, when it came in.
so we finally got the bumper on there both headlights on there and it's not looking too bad it's looking like a car all together actually i'm really 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 happy and how everything came together pretty easily it's waiting on the hood i probably need to order some grills as well just to make this thing look you know all together um and again like i said we have the tow hook on there so now for the side skirt uh we do have a few things that's kind of weird with this car and i don't know if you guys can see but there's basically all these screws like there's a screw sticking out i think he screwed i think he had like a carbon side skirt on or something he just screwed in from the top angle kind of weird but i'm gonna go in and take out all the screws just in case if someone's underneath the car i don't want them you know scraping themselves or even myself i don't want to scrape myself with all these screws so you know i don't want to be liable anyone to bmw is like oh i cut myself because of one of your screws on your car so let's go ahead and just knock those off just for safety reasons <laughs> So at this point, unfortunately, um, we're not gonna be able to fix the car today. And I know a lot of you guys probably wanted to see the car start up, but uh, it is what it is. In the meantime, I'm pretty much gonna be looking out for a hood. As soon as we get a hood, I'm gonna drop it on the hood and the trunk onto the M5 and then probably get a tow down to BMW. Hopefully that's the next video. So I'm gonna try to find a hood. Uh, we have a trunk for it, a carbon fiber one. So I'm gonna put on the trunk, put on the hood, take it out of BMW for a diagnostic. And hopefully when it's all be put together and they diagnose the car and they figure it out, that'd be absolutely amazing. We can get it back, take it to the body shop, perfect it, and then continue on with the mods but obviously we need the car to start before anything so i'll keep you guys posted but uh as for the meantime that's pretty much concludes the video so without further ado guys i love you all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out